So this tutorial is regarding the uh, the top toolbar over here. So excuse the terrible resolution. Uh you have your f basic file thing. You can do it new or you can do an open you know open bevel open that which uh basically what this is is uh, I just made a beveled cube and it doesn't look anything like a beveled cube because there's a collision mesh there now it's a beveled cube anyways it was going to be a mod ideally All right, so you could do new open uh, or you could do open open my bevel again but say I want to um you know, merge something with it, take another model and also open that one. Well, I can do that by doing that. Okay, so basically I will have both of these models in the same uh, save file. I don't want to save that. Alright, you can also do... Um... Hmm. Alright. You can also do uh, import, which gives you this long list of types of files that you can import. Uh, you could do export, which gives you another long list. You could click on your preferences, which allows you to change the color of your background um, to anything you know if you want it to be ugly brown you should not do that but you could theoretically and it will look terrible but there's nothing stopping you from doing it but I don't like that so I'm just gonna set it back to what it should be alright now what you can also do is you can look at your recent files which is bevel or you can exit the program which is just like pressing the X at the top okay and then you have your edits and uh, those are more interesting you know that's not just stuff uh, file commands that's more actual you know modeling so in order uh, edit is edit you can undo and you can redo undo redo it's the same thing as control Z and control R as I mentioned in the last video uh, you can duplicate selection which just copies what you have and makes a new version of it, it, it the command is control D uh, in case you want to use it you know as a keybind and then I'll just undo those. Alright, you can also do uh, delete only what you've selected. Uh, for instance, if I want to make a duplicate, I can just edit delete selection, which is just the delete key. And then you can do uh, alt delete, I believe. No, what is it? Command shift delete shift delete which will delete everything um i mean you'll only do that if you're just starting from scratch um the other commands are you know uh select all so control a select none and then you can do like a selection invert say you want to select everything except that cube in the middle but you can't think of any way to do it like you you can there's no possible way that you can select those without deselecting the cube so you'll wanna just select the cube and you'll wanna do edit select invert and then you'll select everything else and then you can do hide selection which basically just makes it so um like say you want to isolate one part of your model, say you only want to work on this cube in the middle, 
uh, you can hide everything else and then when you're done working on that you can just unhide all and it'll come back and then you can do refresh textures which is just if your textures are messed up alright you can go to vertex uh, and these allow you to you know edit the vertices um, for instance you can select the top vertices and you can do vertex snap together control n and you can make this pyramid and then if you select all and do uh, weld together then uh, it will be polygon or you know vertex efficient uh, you can also snap to grid for instance if you turn off snap to grid when you're creating because you want to make more fine details uh, but then you realize that it just gets too messy you can go to vertex snap to grid and it will just like that you know, control G alright uh, weld together is like uh, it's the opposite of unweld for instance, if I want to move this, I have to, um, well, I, I, it's connected to the rest of the model, but if I unweld it, and then select it again, I can move it separately from the model. But now, I don't want to move it separately from the model, I, I want to move it with the model, so I'll go to Vertex, Weld Together, and now if I try to select that face, I, it's part of the model. Uh, that's useful if you want to remove a piece, like if you want to remove that top. Alright, uh, you can do unweld radial. Um, I don't really know what that's useful for. I mean, what it does is it basically makes all the faces separate from each other, and it, like, uh, does this. It gives them a lot of space within each other, or between each other. But other than, you know, making a rock look you know, destroyed and then filling in the gaps. I don't really see how this is very useful. Uh, you can divide edge. You need to select two vertices, though. So, I'll vertex, divide edge. Um, and what that does is that turns the top face into three different uh, faces. I don't exactly know what like uh, what pattern it uses to figure out which what to split. So uh, I don't know how useful that is. I don't ever use that when I'm modeling, but I guess you could figure some way out, figure out some way to use it. And then flatten is one of the most useful tools that I think gets overlooked. It's like, uh, say, let's just go back to and undo that divide edge. Okay. Say I want to make a, um, a blade. And so I want to collapse these four vertices onto each other. Or frame overlay. I want to collapse these four vertices onto each other so that I have a perfect blade. Normally, you would just select these two and then do Control N twice and you'd make your flat blade uh, but a more efficient way to do that is shift control and then you choose what axis you want to snap along Y will make them the same height um, you know Z will make them the same uh, distance in this direction and X will make them oh there it should the same X yeah it'll make them like that uh, where this is useful, uh, for instance, if I am, like, putting two models together, and I didn't snap them to grid originally, and so now it's like this, and I don't want there to be any space in between them, so I can just do that, shift Control y and now they're the exact same they have the exact same y value 
right? And then say I want these to fit together again. Shift Control. Ah, Shift Control Z. Shift Control Z. And now they're perfectly stacked together, and I can just delete those two faces in the middle. So that's using flatten. Flatten is, you know, a very useful tool, and it needs to be used way more often. I've I haven't seen a tutorial actually explain how to use flatten ever. All right, and then after flatten in the vertex we have a uh, mirror front left right back bottom that's um useful as well uh, if you're making something that's perfectly symmetric like um i want to make you know uh, just an example like say you're making an axe head and that is what your axe head looks like but you want to make it for or top to bottom like this now you can have them touch there or you can move it down to there and then you'll have this weird uh, butterfly antenna thing uh, and then similarly you know I want to make a perfect butterfly or something like that uh, you can do front to back which is you know th this is the front and this is the back and I'll just m duplicates it and then moves it across the like the axis in the same distance like uh, mirror left to right what that does is since it has the same uh, X value it doesn't change vertex front to back now it'll mirror it the exact same distance from the origin that this piece is this piece will be mirrored over to here and uh, when you mirror it it doesn't duplicate it I just duplicate and then mirror it but that's something you have to do manually so also um, the mirrors are very useful uh, extrude edges uh, allows you to select two vertices I believe extrude edges and it will um, it moved them like that I've I've not really seen any use for this uh, I suppose if you're making paper thin edges uh, that would be pretty cool but <laughs> I haven't used this very much although I could see myself using it alright let's just go to something new um, what else is there? Uh, Sims 2, I'm not gonna deal with any of those Sims 2 options. Uh, there's manual edit, which I don't know how to use that. Uh, it seems like it's not very useful. And then you have Spherify, which allows you to to do that uh, exactly what that is I have no idea but um, I guess I, I don't know what it does I'm not sure what the algorithm for change it has and then snap to plane would only affect certain triangles I would assume vertex snap to plane Let's see. I have never used this uh, functionality. So I don't know what it does. Um, it, it seems like it would just be like flatten, except I can't figure out how to make it work. Alright, so that is file edit and vertex uh, exhaustively explained.